Hey, oh, this is Dash, and today I'm going to be doing an oil change, well, an oil and a fuel filter change on my 2012 Passat TDI uh, Volkswagen. <clears throat> so, I have a fuel filter, and one of the things that, or the reason why I want to show you this is because I'm going to be doing, I'll wait for that noise to go by, I'm going to be doing a top side filter, uh, oil filter in uh, fuel filter change. So let me go get the um, the suction pump and watch me work. I'll be back in a minute. Back out. I'm in front of the garage because you know I'm doing top side top side oil change. I don't need to go in the garage. And the key to that is this right here. This is a little suction pump. And what I basically do is go in through the oil dipstick. Okay, the dipstick tube. And I'll put that off to the side. Actually, I'll just drop that and I'll clean it up. In through the oil dipstick tube. Let me move the suction pump closer. You'll hit the bottom of the oil pan. All right, <clears throat> scene one, take two. So the problem was I didn't realize the tank wasn't charged, air tank, and there was no pressure. Now that I have enough air pressure, All right, anyone who has a uh, <clears throat> German car knows what this is. This is an oil filter wrench, or at least a Volkswagen, an Audi, or maybe a Mercedes or a BMW. This is an oil filter wrench. Because I have the ability to, to do top side filter changes, what happens is the oil filter is in a canister that is uh, replaceable. Take this, get down here. It's a 32 millimeter socket. I'll get the cap going. Loosen that up. What I typically do is relieve the relieve the pressure of the um, filter and whatever was in there. I kind of let it sit sideways so that the oil that's in the filter and the cap can drain into the housing. I'm going to turn this, the the vacuum back on to make sure I have all of the oil out of the oil pan. I'm just trying to be thorough and make sure that I have all the oil out. I see the, the line is clear here because it's just sucking up air. Then I'm going to push it back down and see if I can get any more oil. 
and I'm still getting oil. Let the tube clear up a little. And I'm still getting oil. Just in case anybody's wondering, this tube is hot as hell. I just drove home from work and uh, oil is hot. While that's still working, I'm going to get work on the oil filter. All right, so here is the oil filter itself, and the way this works is you just replace the filter element, actually, So I'm getting the oil out of the uh, filter housing. And one last time, I'm going to make sure I get all the way down to the bottom of the filler. I'm sorry, the dipstick tube. And I'm not getting any more oil. Oh, there's a little bit coming out. All right, so at this point, I have the filter out, and on the filter itself, okay, there's the filter element itself. Let's get that out the way. I'll pick that up in a second. But what I want to show you is on this cover, there's no oil on the top, but there is a, it's an O-ring. needs to come off. There's one. Two. Oh. And here's the third one. Inside the box here, there are three new gaskets, 
or O-rings rather, not gaskets. And we'll just replace them. Those O-rings that I took off look fine, but I mean, they give you the O-rings when you buy the filter. Uh, I feel like I might as well just change them, and I do. When I put them on, I don't use uh, the screwdriver. I don't want to mar them in any way. But I will stretch them out with my hands. The filter goes back on the, I mean, the, the O-ring goes back on the, the, the seal. Pop this in the right direction. And then this whole thing goes right back down where it needs to. And it's in there. There's not a whole lot of light down in here, but the filter goes right down in here. And I'll put these O-rings in the bag, wipe up my hands, and then we'll put the put the filter back on. Or the filter cap. Now it it says on the cap like uh, torque it to 25 newton meters. I really don't even do that. It's 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 snug. Uh, and we're good. all right. So the next piece is to get the fuel filter out of here. Um, we've done the oil filter. Like I said, the next piece is the fuel filter. Fuel filter also is a similar type of element where it uh, goes into, um, it's, in, it's got its own separate canister. So you just take off the Torx bolts on top and I have some tools for that. This is a uh, T25, by the way. And this is my, uh, this is my DeWalt 20 volt uh, quarter inch um, impact driver. <clears throat> and oh my gosh, a friend of mine works for Black & Decker who owns DeWalt. And they had a, an employee sale and this is becoming one of my favorite, newest favorite tools that I never knew I needed, but uh, can't believe I never had it. So now that the nuts are off, you just have to be careful. There's a little bit of uh, suction here. And there you go. Flip the top up and out of the way. Clean up the little bit of mess I just made. Pull the filter out, let it drain for a moment. Now I do my fuel filter changes every 20,000 miles. My, uh, my car just hit 80,000 miles, hence the reason I'm doing the fuel filter change. And uh, oil changes I do every 
10,000 miles. Again, I'll get that in a moment. Let's clean up a little bit. Actually, I should probably put in a new filter before I start wiping things up. This filter has the uh, gasket. Yeah, this would be, I guess, a gasket as opposed to O-ring built in. Lift up. Now, if I were being really anal, I would suction out the, or take this container out and get the, there's a little bit of dirt down in the bottom, but just, just a teeny little bit. Let that sink so that it absorbs the fuel that's already in there. center the uh, this on top of that and then I'm going to start my bolts I start these by hand to make sure I don't strip anything. Wipe the fuel off my hands and this again is uh, it's fantastic but I'm just gonna hit it till I mean, I'm not putting on lugs on wheels. All right, so lastly, I'm going to look everything over, clean up any mess that I made. All right, uh, so last but not least, let's fill the oil. Now, I always grab a funnel even though the this um, case design is built in as a funnel, so I don't need it necessarily, but I use a funnel so that I can stick the oil container up here and let it drain. All right, so I'll let that sit there for a moment, double check all of my work, make sure that the fuel filter is uh, tight. Check the oil level, and I believe, I actually have to check the uh, official volume, but I usually end up enter putting in a gallon and uh, maybe another quart, half a quart to a quart, depending on how much oil I got out the last time so I can see what the uh, level is.
One thing to keep in mind when you're doing your fuel filter, because you're introducing air into the line, you want to prime the uh, system before you actually start it because you might have some difficulty starting it right after you change the fuel filter. So I'm going to prime it um, by turning it to the accessory mode and then I'm going to start it quickly, check the oil level and add more oil if necessary. That little stutter was because it was air in the fuel line, but again, like I said, it, it primed itself and uh, it's all good. So now I'm going to check the oil level and see where I am and add oil as necessary. And I do need to add some more. So let's get some more oil in there. And we're spot on at the uh, top of the line. Hopefully you can see that there. Top of the indicator line there. Put the uh, filler cap back on my tools out of the way, get the engine cover back on. Remove all of the tools from the engine bay. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, that's how I do my top side oil and fuel filter changes. Um, one of the best inventions ever. One of the best things I ever picked up. I think I picked this up off of Amazon. If I did, look for a link in the description below. If I didn't, I think I picked it up. I could have possibly picked it up on ecstuning.com, which is a uh, website that you can go and get parts for most German cars. If you know anyone that has a German car, um, I would highly suggest doing the top side oil and filter change um, because of the simplicity of getting it done and not having to jack the car up, get under the car, all of those things involved. Now if you do still have to do bottom side oil changes, I highly recommend a uh, Fomoto valve. What this is, is this valve goes in place of your oil drain, uh, the oil drain, I guess, nut and, or bolt, the oil drain bolt and it puts a check valve in there with a nipple and a drain. So you can simply open it up and the oil will come from there. When my wife's van, when the oil change is due for her van, um, I will see about getting the uh, Fomoto valve for her van and I'll show you guys how to do the oil change uh, with the Fomoto valve.
which is an underside thing. Um, hopefully this helps someone. I know it might be a little bit longer than you, you might have wanted to see. Uh, but uh, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I do more than just barbecue. <laughs> um, but uh, check the description for some of my favorite barbecue toys and tools around the garage. Talk to you later.